So what you want to do is now install the Android SDK. So you can search on Android Studio, go to the Android Studio, download the puppy. When you're done, you'll end up with a huge file called Android Studio body blah, blah dot zip and then you can unzip Android Studio body blah, blah and it goes out unzips itself and um then you can move I would remove the zip file and then I would move Android Studio itself into your bin directory and then you can move to your bin directory go into Android Studio and then there's a bin folder in there and you can start it by typing studio sh so that's what it would be like for you for me actually for various reasons i don't have it there so i'm just going to delete it all it's taking up space in my hard drive that i don't want to use instead my copy is actually in a place called big drive a big usb drive and if you go into bin, then you find Android Studio there. And if you launch it, then here's Android Studio. It starts running. And as you can see, it's just WebStorm under another name, which is in fact the case. And you can go to tools and you can open up the AVD manager would be to run the emulator for it. And then open up the SDK manager and they'll tell you to install the puppy somewhere. If you've already got the Android SDK, you can point it at it. Otherwise, you decide where you want it, and you can see where I've put it in on my USB drive in Android and SDK. So if you open up your bash RC file, you will find that I've got a bunch of items already in there. And you can see I put Android Home. I point it to the place where I installed the Android SDK. And you can see that I also added platform tools to the place where I installed the Android SDK plus this platform tools thing. And then I've added those to my path. I don't think you actually need to add Gradle. I think it'll be okay. But if you do, then you can do that. That was part of the download. Okay. So now, once you've got the puppy installed, then you might notice that I've installed the SDK for Oreo for the most recent, even though we're using NuGet. And I think that's going to work, but if it isn't, we can, you know, click NuGet and install it. So that's the way that works. <clears throat> and now So now because I set everything right up in my bash rc i probably will need to source it again just to make sure that it's any changes that i made to it have been processed and then what i'll do is i'll type adb and it will show that this is the tool that we use to connect to our instance so i can type adb devices and see if i'm connected to any i'm not so i'll do adb connect 192.168.2. Wasn't it 36 from our previous video? That's the name of the um, Android x86 running in VirtualBox. So we'll try it at any rate. And now it seemed to connect, and we typed a voices, and it shows that we're connect to it, connected to it. So now we'll go. create rack video test will create uh, just a little test app here create react native app video test and we'll go ahead and do that this takes a while so I'll pause things so now once that was done then we can go into our video test and um, 
will type yarn start or npm start depending on how your system is set up and then again this can take a moment so I'll just and then once I'm ready here it says press A to open an Android device or emulator and so I'll press A and it says it's starting Android and then you could see in the background here that things are starting to happen so I'll click here in my app what it's trying to do is install um, Expo so I'll turn that on since it seems to want that And then at this point, Expo ought to be installed. I've sometimes felt like I had to reboot at this stage, but reboot the virtual machine here. But let's just see if we can get it um, to do it. So I'll try again to do it, and then you can see something again. Oh, I'm having trouble here, aren't we? So it says it's building the bundle, right? So is there some way to keep both of these puppies? Ah, uh, Charlie, you're not doing very well. Is there some way to keep both of these puppies? Oh, look, you can see it's loaded, right? So now we're done, right? We finished the little guy. I, as I say, it's worth keeping Android studio open because you see you're getting bug debug information down here this is about what happens over here so it's worth keeping android studio open but i just am not very fond of of actually editing inside of it and there may even be a warning somewhere on the android site saying that don't try to edit your projects react native not on the android site but in the react native site don't try to edit them inside of Android Studio. Instead, just do something else or do something. I can't remember, but I just don't edit it in there. And so I come over here to, and we call it like video test, and I'll open it. And I can't show you everything I want to. I just run out of real estate. This guy is really in the way. And I'll open app.js and say open elven app.js and then I'll just get rid of these two so it's clear that we're actually have made a change. Then I'll save that, and there you can see the changes. You see it's instant, right? It's, you, you make a change up here, and you save your work, and boom, it just refreshes. So it's, for me, it's been faster than doing it with the phone, than attaching over the network with the phone. If you attach directly to the phone, it works quickly. But um, this is actually, to me, really nice, because even having the phone, I, it makes me keep switching back and forth between the phone and my computer, and really this is, is better for me. So, I'll, I'll come over here and make a change, and wham, you can see how quickly it got rebuilt there, and then you can see the, see the change. All right, now I'm just babbling. All right. So that's the way I would suggest you work to debug these puppies. And then don't forget that over here, you can, there's, we'll get into it at some other point, but you can get debug symbols sent over here. It's telling what's happening on the phone. And um, I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay, end of video. Stop, Charlie. Stop.